Well, time to put it all away. And I'm starting with you. Head first. Ah, that's the ticket. All right. Hey, Brandon. Hey, John. My name's Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. Mm -hmm. It's the last show of the year, John. Mm, how you feeling? I'm... Uh... Listen, the holidays were lovely. They always are. We'll take any opportunity we can to celebrate the birth of our Savior with the people we love, but can we just be honest and talk about how long this year has been? 365 days as usual. Or was it a leap year? So much stuff happened this year. Yeah, well, that's why I'm looking forward to the new year. You're actually looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a new beginning. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the new year with a positive attitude. No, absolutely not. I fell into that trap last year, and I'm not gonna fall for it again. I came into this year with goals. I was gonna learn how to play the drums this year. You did learn how to play the drums. <sighs> what if next year is just as long as this year? Again, 365 days is sort of standard. What if, Brandon? What if? Don't ask me. Then who, Brandon? Who? Someone who knows stuff. Oh, uh, who are you and what do you know? I'm the new year and I know that it's party time. Boom. See John, next year's gonna be a party. <laughs> so, you're the actual physical manifestation of the new year? Ah, you catch on fast, pal. I'm a baby at the beginning of the year, and by the end of it, I'm an old dude. Weird. You're weird. So uh, what kind of year is it gonna be next year? Yeah, this year took forever. Who knows? Every year's different. But I can promise you this. Nothing bad is gonna happen in my year. You can promise that. <laughs> I promise anything I want. I'm a baby. I have zero life experience. Boom! Nothing wrong with a, a little optimism. You said it. I've got my whole life ahead of me, and nothing's gonna bring me down. But seriously, good things and bad things happen every year. I only remember the bad things. <clears throat> I made a list. Number one. Ugh, la, la, la. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Shh, shh, shh. Did you want to make the baby cry? You didn't want to make the baby cry. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> gotcha. I can turn on the waterworks whenever I want. I'm a baby. Boom. Okay, look, here's the thing. There's no reason next year will be any better than this year. Sure, we say we want to make a difference when the new year rolls around. We want to exercise more and write that novel and end world hunger. But then the middle of January rolls around and we're right back where we started. Maybe my year will be different. Maybe my year will be awesome. Boom, boom! How was that worth two booms? It wasn't. I'm a baby. I just made a boom boom. <laughs> boom! Listen, John, I, I know it's been a long year, but th that doesn't mean the future is something we should worry about. All right, prove me wrong then. Show me there's something to look forward to. I'll give it a shot. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Boom! Hey 
guys. Kellen, we're in a pretty bad way here. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just the whole year. I get it. But it's about to be a new year. The new year is a baby. What does he know? Uh, like I said, it's pretty bad. I can tell. Do you maybe have something that can give us a little peace of mind? Oh, I know just where to look for peace. On a flannel graph. That'll have to do. Let's go. All right. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night, and they were taking care of their sheep. Sleep well, Harriet. Meh. What a beautiful starry night. Seems like any other night to me. Taking care of sheep is boring. Meh. No offense, Harriet. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to them. <gasps> Do you see that? Look! <gasps> Run away! Come on, Harriet! Don't look at me like that! Nah. Do not be afraid! <gasps> it's easy for you to say. <sighs> what do you want? I bring you good news. Hold on! Boost me up! Oh. <laughs> now I can hear you better. Probably didn't happen this way, but whatever. The angel gave his message. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. The Messiah? Here? That's amazing! Whoa, whoa, whoa! 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 Oh, oh Harriet! Harry, are you all right? Oh, I'm falling. You didn't break my fall. Oh. How do we know you're for real? Here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. A little help. Oh. Ah! Thank you. Suddenly, a large group of angels from heaven also appear. Well, now I'm not bored. The angels were praising God and saying, May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. After they had delivered their good news of peace that was for the whole world, the angels left. And the shepherds, well, they hurried on to Bethlehem. They found Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus, just like the angels said. I think it's this way. Hello there. An angel sent us. <gasps> But will you look at that? In a manger, wrapped in cloths. The angels were right. The baby is the Messiah, the Lord. We have to tell someone about this. Who? Everyone. Quickly. Oh, you can just, okay. After the shepherds had seen Jesus, they told everyone. They reported what the angel had said about this child. Hey, everyone, we have news. We saw angels. The Lord has come to earth. He's going to bring peace. <laughs> Don't just stand there. We've got to tell everyone about this. Come on. Uh. Come on. Come on, everybody. Follow my lead. All who heard the shepherds were amazed at what they'd said. The shepherds gave glory and praise to God. Everything they had seen and heard was just as they'd been told. The end. We've had so much fun doing this show all year long, and I'm pretty sure we're going to have fun next year. But I want you to know that even when things are stressful and don't always seem under control, we can still have peace. Because I can promise you that God is in control. God sending his son is good news for all people. It shows us just how much he loves us and helps us remember that God is with us no matter what kind of year we're having. And like the shepherds, we can spread the good news of God's peace to everyone we meet. We can work together with each other and with God to make the world better. And well, that's why I have peace. That's why I have peace. That's why I have peace. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year to you too, Kellen. You feeling more peaceful, John? I am, yeah. I mean, no matter what kind of year I had, I know God has been looking out for us since the beginning of time, so it makes one year seem pretty small. Hmm. That's a smart way to look at it. I am very smart. S-M-R-T. 
Uh huh. Reveal the question. What does it mean to have peace? Right, peace is more than just being calm or quiet, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, maybe it means being chill when bad things happen, you know, like me. <laughs> By the way, you're all out of Cheetos. What? <laughs> just kidding. I'm joking, I'm chill. You were joking too, right? We're, we're not out of Cheetos. Talk about it together. What does it mean to have peace? Mm. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. Happy New Year from the So-and-So Show. Yeah, seriously, did you eat all my Cheetos? 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Woo! Wait, 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 wait. There's still four more days to go. Oh. <sighs> eh. Hey! hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>